Casimiro looking to make a statement early. Goes to the body that time. I think an overhand and a body would be good for Casimiro to land against the Tumboa. Looking to be willing to trade if it came to it. As Casimiro lands one up top. Wild punches now coming from Casimiro. Casimiro trying to land the left also. So far, Ngitumbwa the one pushing forward. Oh, big shot again by Ngitumbwa. And again, this is something that you don't see with Casimiro. Casimiro usually is the one pressing forward in all the fights that we've seen him, majority of it. Casimiro, looking to chop him down, has been going with that left hook to the body. <coughs> what I see is coming into this fight, Casimiro is very confident. Yeah. And whether it's overconfidence or, or just confident that he has, I know he has a tremendous amount of power. And sometimes when you are confident, you, you tend to look past an opponent. You know, and, and with the Tumba, the Tumba's coming in there with with great certainty and, and he's pressing forward with great defense and and smothering uh Genrios Casimiro's uh punches. Great shot by Casimiro. Nice shot. There you go. I believe that's what John Riel was looking for. And that body shot. And I think it's it's a similar fashion that, that um another African fighter that uh fought John Uriel was just to press with the heavy high guard. Ndumbo again pressing the action, moving forward. Again, uh, round number four, bout scheduled for 12. Good push jab to set up the straight. And I think, like uh, Rachel said, uh, investing in that body shot is going to be a big help for Casamero. John Riel. He's uh, ranging him. He's finding that distance so he can throw and unload that, that right of, uh, overhand. Oh, well, look at some... Yes, Nitumba is having a little <laughs> bit of fun with the crowd and more concerned with the crowd than... Good job by Casimero as Nitumba was stepping in. And uh, Casimiro is doing a great job. Oh, setting up again with the jab and an overhand to land on Itumbua. But he's fighting smart at this moment. Oh, nice that call by Itumbua. We're happy to be here. Rachel Dodaine. But always a pleasure to see you guys. Um, obviously, uh, uh, Rachel, now that we're told the middle rounds, are you hoping to see the results of those uh, investment shots that you've seen from Casimero? Yes, I definitely am. And the thing is, is that Ntumpa, you know, he he is trying to keep him at a distance, but John Mel Casimero is doing a good job of circling around the ring, bobbing and weaving. And using those jab behind to throw those big shots. Again, body shots, investing in those body shots. Oh, nice oh, one. Oh, oh, overhead. Yeah. That's exactly what Casimiro has been waiting for. Oh! Casimiro! Oh, saved by the bell in this one. What an explosive end to round number five. And, you know, it, it's, it's sometimes disheartening for a fighter like when you put in all that work in that round and they get away with the. Oh! Casimero has to capitalize here. A minute remaining. 
Let's go. It's unreal. His corner is yelling. The defending champion looking to stay on his feet. His legs are locking out, though. His balance is off. He's trying to survive the last 15 seconds of round six. But Casimero, though, getting tagged, can't be careless again. I saw him taking deep breaths, Rachel, in his corner. Well, sometimes you get so over uh, um, excited that you're throwing so much power. And I think that's what he was trying to do because it was only a punch away yeah. from the previous rounds. He put in a lot of work last round. Casimero trying to measure it. Zumbo throwing that long range jab, trying to get the distance this time around. Land more of his punches, his distance, not He still don't have his legs. If you notice how he's hopping, he still doesn't have his legs. Mm. I actually believe that if John Real moves around the ring more, utilizes the ring more, it will be extremely hard for Tumbo to follow him at yep. this point. His legs do not look right. You're absolutely correct on that. Lateral movement would be the key. And shifting away. Did that body shot just hurt him? I mean, there's the last one when he was hurt, he got hit with a good body shot. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's hurt with that body shot. Although that left jab connecting for the defending champion, Nitumba. Now look at the load up that overhand right again. Definitely Nitumba is here to fight. Oh, clean shot. Now, two rounds after that knockdown, is that enough time, Nonito, for the defending champ to recover? I mean, he's recovering really well because he's trained for this, but at any moment, he can go down and he won't he won't get up if he gets hit with those shots again. Nice combination by John Real. Nice body shot again. Now, Rachel, you see him setting up those power shots. Exactly. And that's what we needed him to do. You can't just throw it at... at just whenever without there actually being a target to to hit you waste energy like that you get tired oh nice shot by john real oh with straight by Nitumba. they were both throwing a straight well uh both rights straight from Nitumba and overhand for general that missed that second warning, Itumba connects with that right hand. Jab, jab, straight. He's actually doing a great job by setting everything up behind his jab. Oh! Oh! oh. Wow, he survives it again! Yet again! How lucky can you get? We'll find out when we come back. John Real Casimero wasn't able to follow up on anything. Oh, John Real Casimero with the body hook, and that landed the last hook. I think that some boys is going for broke right now. And at the same time, Dan Real is trying to go for the same thing to stop this fight. Nice body work. But like you said, good body shot. Philippus, you have to point your camera, not step on it. Okay. Oh, nice combo. Rushing in, leaving himself open, has to be careful in case Casimero counters. Oh, nice shot. But I guess he was rolling with it still, talking about Casimero. Minute and a half remaining, round number nine. That exact same way that John Real keeps rotating to the left side, like I said. Oh. Oh, nice shot by John Real Casimero. Tied Good up. Counter. We have half of the round again left. Let's see what happens. Exactly. I'd rather see. I'd rather want to see him set up shots earlier, and of course have that happen. We did have that happen when he first knocked him down, though. Oh, no, that overhand almost ended. That would have been the end of the night. The day. We're still in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. The end of the afternoon. <laughs> Double left uppercut by Casimiro, trying to break through, blitz through that defense. You know, that's interesting that you say that because we were trying to find fight tape on him and it was actually quite difficult. Mm, yeah, it was very difficult. There to might fight. have been like maybe two that we saw and most of them were highlights, not full fights. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So let's see if uh, that has been something that they've observed or during the course of the fight. The champion, though, remaining active. Keeping... Consistently throwing that jab and following up. Yep, keeping that jab out there. 
He's trying to keep him away. <laughs> trying to keep him at bay. And like I said, once he throws that jab and he can touch you, he knows that that right hand is going to be able to land. Or we can assume that if John Real stood there, he would be able to land. But we do know that John Real has been rolling the correct direction. Yes. 